Alrighty, um, how's it going? Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about concrete information in socionics. So another way of putting this is introverted sensation and extroverted sensation, SI or SE. Um, in the previous video, I explained that for introverted intuition and extroverted intuition, we see a, um, a divergence and a convergence of information and I call this expanding and refining and each of the information elements expands or refines one of the two so <clears throat> the extroverted uh, information elements expanding the introverted information elements refining so for um, extroverted sensation and introverted sensation I have two different terms for this for this movement um, the extroverted sensation uh, or expanding of concrete information is what I call contending and the introverted sensation or the refining of concrete information is what I call homeostasis okay <clears throat> so primarily I want to cover uh, one thing that I forgot to mention in the previous video about intuition which uh, was pretty obvious so I don't really know how I missed it but Basically, the idea being that with extra intuition, um, or sorry, for intuition in general or abstract information, uh, the person is going to typically be pretty disconnected from their physical environment, which is actually a pretty good lead in to uh, this video um, as well. So that's something that I didn't really mention, and it's pretty significant to the type. For types who are heavy on extrovert intuition, um, or introvert intuition or abstract information, they are pretty, uh, they struggle with the concrete uh, information or the concrete world. So that's something that you'll see with those types and it's something to, uh, something to watch out for. So um, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, for myself, I have, um, I'm a introverted intu uh, intuitive uh, dominant or a uh, NI type. So I'm an IEI. So um, for those of you who know socionics, um, for those of you that don't, I'll explain what that means later. Um, anyways, so for someone like myself, I really do struggle with concrete information, with keeping my environment in order, and things like that. Whereas people who um, people who do pretty uh, people who have extroverted sensation or introverted sensation as their base element these people have a much easier time with their physical environment and a much more difficult time with the abstract world. So that's something that um, that you'll see with these types. Now, to uh, explain what I mean by contending and homeostasis, um, I'm going to give uh, a little bit of, of a picture of the values of this type, right? So, um, for one, introverted sensation, or SI, is focused on keeping things in harmonic order, right? Um, so what I think of um, oftentimes is, is a few different things. Uh, for one, maybe an emotional atmosphere, right? Let's say you have a bunch of people um, in a room and maybe... Some people start to make other people feel uncomfortable, um, things of that nature. Well, people that would value introverted sensing, or especially in the, in in how it relates to ethical types, or people who also value extroverted feeling, which we'll get into later, um, they will do what they can to keep things into a, a, a in our homo, our homo, blah, 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 a harmonic balance between these types so uh, or between these people so that's something that you'll see with introverted sensation is it's bringing several things into order so you know I feel like that's not really doing its service we could go a little bit further in depth here um, to give you an analogy or an explanation of this I want you to imagine a a, a trampoline right so in I'm sure you've seen those those graphics or those visuals of 
the planets and how much how much uh, how much like gravitational influence they have in space. And the way they visualize this is by this like trampoline plane and you see the earth or a planet or the sun and you can see its density based uh, based off how it creates a curvature in the trampoline grid, right? So <clears throat> I think this is a good way to explain uh, extroverted sensation and introverted sensation. Um, so the difference between them being that extroverted sensa sensation is seeking to expand that influence and capture other objects within its realm of influence or you could say control. Whereas for introverted sensation, we're looking at a little bit of the opposite, which is a uh, <clears throat> it, it's seeking to harmonize several objects' independent influences. So for example, um, you know, let's say we are looking at several planets next to each other. Um, <clears throat> if one were to expand its influence to a degree, um, it may swallow up the other objects with underneath its influence. An introverted sensation type is focused on ensuring that these realm of influences keep a proper distance from one another and maintain that homeostasis between several uh, objects realm of influence. So that's um, that's something that you'll see with uh, with extroverted sensation and introverted sensation. So what does that mean really? Well um, I'm gonna use a uh, pretty extreme example to portray this. <clears throat> We're gonna use uh, Jeff Bezos, right? Um, why does it feel so weird to say his name? I feel like I'm giving him credit or something. Like, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, anyways, so for Jeff Bezos, uh, obviously, he's got a lot of influence in the world. Uh, his control stems and extends over um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, for someone like him, if let's say you were working in a warehouse, um, one of his warehouses, uh, if he were to walk through the warehouse or he were to show up one day, it would already be really crazy that he showed up there. Um, but to consider that and be like, okay, wow, like he's here, that's insane. Like, but think about how many warehouses he has. You know, he has tons and they're all massive. I mean, I used to work in one, so. They're all massive, and there's tons of them. And the warehouses are only a section of his company. And there are many other massive parts of his company. So um, to consider this, it, it would already be insane for him to show up in the building because of how much influence he has. Um, but at the same time, uh, all of those things, all of the warehouses and all these other um, companies are all under his control, right? So that's um, that's an example uh, or an illustration of extrovert sensation. So it's it's the rise of power, right? Um, it's uh, swallowing things up underneath your influence. So that's what extrovert sensation as an element is focused on. Um, <clears throat> Introverted sensation is focused on the harmonic balance. So that's a difference between them. What does this look like when put into an individual's life? Well, uh, so what I imagine in my mind, uh, which <laughs> it's kind of stereotypical or, uh, but, but what I imagine in my life, uh, what I imagine in someone's life would be, at least for an introverted sensation, is having a lot of your life in order, um, if that makes sense. So uh, I imagine a family environment. Um, I imagine that there's, um, I imagine that, you know, there's this really good cooking that everyone likes. And, uh, and I don't even know how to explain this because I'm not very good at this. Um, but essentially, it's it's having several things um, 
tied into a harmonic balance as as it pertains to one's life. So, um, like for myself, I have a pretty difficult time keeping my uh, environment in order. Um, so that's that's a pretty big issue for me. My desk that I'm looking at right now is already pretty messy, and um, and uh, so is my room. So that's um that's something that I have a little bit of a difficult time with. But some people, there that's their focus. They keep they keep their environment tidy. They uh, they do it well. They love doing things like uh, cooking and and, uh, and 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 things like that. It's it's not always this simple. Um, I just this is the way that I I explain it. Um, that I, I I know how to explain it. And personally, um, I'm not very good at doing these things, so I can't really tell you what they would be. Um, I like to figure it out, but I hope you can kind of, I hope you can kind of imagine what it might be like to see someone, um, who's got their environment tied together into a harmonic balance. And one thing that I, I remember is that, you know, w one thing that reminds me of this is that my, uh, my stepdad, he's allergic to, uh, like dairy products. And, uh, and so he can't eat pizza. And my mom, uh, my mom would find a way to make pizza that didn't use dairy. So like she, I, I don't, I don't even remember how she did it, but the point being like, I, I imagine this could be an illustration of bringing things into harmonic balance. The family likes pizza. My husband can't eat pizza. So, um, how can I, how can I like, how can I fix this or how can I, make it so that he can enjoy a food that he doesn't really get to enjoy anymore or, um, you know, cause he didn't used to have problems with it. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, and so, yeah, that's, a that's a pretty poor illustration, I'll admit. Um, but another, another way to imagine this, um, when, when it's, uh, another way to imagine this is, uh, more on the practical end, which is keeping a business running, keeping a business in order. Um, I imagine someone who is uh, who is working at like a fast food restaurant as a manager or something like that, and they have to keep the they have to keep everything in order. They have to keep everything running. They have to maintain, and that's a big part of introverted sensation is that maintaining of the environment. Um, whereas uh, Whereas SE is, or extrovert sensation, is more so on exerting control or, um, or their active willpower or force onto the environment. So that's, um, that's the difference. And to give you a, an idea, I was, telling, I was saying that um, extrovert sensation was contending, right? I imagine this is, uh, as competing, a competition, a power struggle. Whereas for introvert sensation, it's just um, maintaining a harmo harmonic balance. So another another way that you can imagine these two concepts is also with boundaries. Um, introverted sensation and extroverted sensation are respecting boundaries or overcoming boundaries. So I imagine that extroverted sensation types are pretty focused on overcoming boundaries or o overcoming any limitation. In fact, if you were to talk to an extroverted sensation base and you'd be like, you know, I don't really think, I think this is too much of a challenge for you. Or, uh, I don't know, I, I think this obstacle is probably going to be a tough one for you to, 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 to get over. Um, it's going to challenge them. In fact, uh, I like to mess with them sometimes by doing that, you know, just throwing that out there. Like, I don't know if you can handle it. You know what I mean? Because for them, they get really motivated to overcome any obstacle. So that's something that um, extroverted sensation types are really oriented towards: is can I can I overcome this? Can I break through this? Um, and that's uh, that's that's an important aspect of them. They also want intensity of experience, right? They want to they want everything to have maximum impact, maximum uh, experience. So, like for example, my roommate's in SLE. And he was talking about how he wanted to decorate his apartment. And he was talking about how he wants someone to walk in and he wants it to have maximum impact. You know, he wants it to like, he 
he wants them to like it, it, it to punch them almost like like wow this is intense you know and uh and that's like that's an example extrovert sensation is always looking for that maximum impact for that for that power for that um for that shock and um you could say that they just they just want to feel they want to feel that feeling of being alive and and being uh having intense experience that's it's maximum of exper uh, maximum experience um and that's that's what nessie type craves um so that's that's one aspect of uh of se um so yeah i think i think that's a pretty good uh example but i kind of want to get into the boundary aspect of it a little bit more uh you know respecting boundaries versus uh, overcoming them um i i also think of this in terms of relationship right um i think that uh extroverted sensation types are so challenge oriented that it's very likely for them to want to overcome boundaries and overcome um limitations in relationships as well and um and i can imagine that with uh with introverted sensation types i've seen them establish boundaries pretty well um and oftentimes i've seen them i've seen some types do a pretty good job at figuring out what distance they want to maintain with between somebody that way they can ensure that both of their lives um still work independently and that their coming together doesn't infringe on their their own their own approach to their lives this which was something that um was uncommon i've, I've i haven't seen um at least to the extent that i had i had seen at the time that i did but um that would be another good use of introverted sensation but it also has to do with introverted ethics which i'm not going to get into right now but those are uh, those are ways um, that extrovert sensation is trying to overcome boundaries rather than introverted sensation, which is um, uh, which is establishing or or maintaining uh, boundaries or homeostasis. So that is a uh, that is a uh, important aspect of those two. Um, I think there was something else. Um, yeah, so that's, um, that's primarily what those types, uh, deal with, um, overcoming boundaries versus maintaining them or coming, uh, bringing things into a, a homeostasis. Um, but it's very externally directed. Both these types are very present. Um, my roommate will be sitting here and he'll hear the dogs make a sound and he notices it and it bothers him like just small noises will bother him um and i don't even notice them to be completely honest with you i'm not even aware of like all the sounds in my environment uh yeah it, it's not something that really occurs to me it's not where my attention is focused whereas for him that's very much um, where his focus is is the environment so that's something that you'll see with these types. They're very, they're very present. Um, they're very focused on um, on uh, the external world. So that's um, pretty powerful uh, for myself. I'm jealous because I am lacking so badly with my external environment. It's horrible. Um, and I, I did notice, I, or, or, sorry, I did mention that SC types are looking for impact. They're looking for intensity of experience. Um, but another thing about uh, these types uh, or for extrovert sensation is, in comparison to introvert sensation, is that introverted sensation is not necessarily looking for impact, but looking to refine their sensory experience. And I really really glad I didn't miss this because I couldn't remember what it was for just a moment but this is really important as well introverted sensation is more so about refining their sensory experience so you'll that that's a pretty good way I feel like how I was failing to describe introverted sensation bringing things into a harmonic balance 
Um, but that's something that they uh, they consider to be really important as well. Um, um, bringing together their environment and, and into a, a place of comfort, um, and uh, and um, being comfortable and ensuring that uh, everything feels good and is catered to them, right? So that's that's the difference between extrovert sensation and introvert sensation. Is introvert sensation is looking for ultimate comfort and maintaining that comfort, whereas extrovert sensation is it's about impact. So I just imagine uh, personally, I just imagine like like extrovert sensation is like a punch, you know, like just a punch. That's like the life experience they want. They want that punch out of life. Whereas introverted sensation is, uh, is, is wanting that deep meditation music, you know, with, uh, with that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but that's basically, they want to feel comfortable and that's the primary um, orientation of introverted sensation. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the basic description. Uh, we have contending or competition, which is extroverted sensation, which is seeking to overcome, um, oftentimes. And then we have introverted sensation or um, uh, homeostasis, uh, which is seeking to maintain or create a harmonic balance or homeostasis. So yeah, that's the primary explanation that I have for extrovert sensation versus introverted sensation. Um, so yeah, I will be describing the um, ethics and logic in the next few videos. So I hope you're looking forward to that. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.